Hello everyone and welcome to the free lecture series organized by Learn CAX. The topic of discussion for this video session is an introduction to T grid. This is a general outline of the course. It includes introduction where you will be introduced to T-Grid software and its highly automated meshing capabilities. Next is how to start which gives an insight to software basics its GUI and TUI. Once we are comfortable with the T-Grid's GUI we will discuss on the meshing operations in the following chapters. Playing with surface mesh Tetrahedral mesh generation Improving volume mesh This course will help you in generating a good quality tetrahedral mesh from surface mesh. Meshing operations related to prism mesh generations are beyond the scope of this course. Let's start with the first chapter of this course. The first unit of introduction includes the following outline. What is T-Grid? Grid generation. T-Grid capabilities. Delaunay triangulation. T-Grid is an unstructured grid generation software that can volume mesh from a given surface mesh. Volume mesh elements that can be handled by T-Grid are tetrahedral, hexahedral, prism or pyramid. T-Grid provides highly automated grid generation options with minimal human effort and CPU requirement. With the help of T-Grid, you can generate high quality meshes for your solver. Again, not only you can create volume mesh from the imported surface mesh, but also you can improve quality of the imported surface mesh. T-Grid's convenient mesh quality diagnostic tools helps us to do this job. Also, some extensive tools are included in T-Grid for rapidly assembling meshes from multiple parts. The following techniques of grid generation are possible in T-Grid. 1. Volume Mesh Generation from Available Boundary Mesh Here, Volume Mesh specifies to Tetrahedral, Hexcore or Hybrid Mesh. This boundary mesh required for Volume Mesh Generation can be taken by either of the two ways. The .msh format The boundary meshes created by Gambit or ICEM CFD can be imported in T-Grid in .msh format. Importing multiple files and appending multiple external files is possible at the same time. If the mesh is contained in two or more separate files, you can read them together in T-Grid and assemble the complete mesh. For example, if you are creating a hybrid mesh by reading in a triangular boundary mesh, and a volume mesh consisting of hexahedral cells read both files at the same time. The neutral mesh files The neutral mesh files from the software like Nastran, Patran, Hypermesh, ASCII, STL can be imported in T-Grid in their respective output file formats. Please note that T-Grid cannot read grids from solvers that have been adapted using hanging nodes. 2. The surface wrapping technique to create a boundary mesh from a faceted geometry. Geometries exported from various CAD packages often contain gaps and overlaps between the surfaces. Repairing such geometries manually is a tedious and time-consuming process. The wrapper provides the ability to create reliable meshes for such geometries without extensive manual cleanup 
and reduces the time required for pre-processing. The wrapper can take account of gaps and overlaps at the expense of certain degree of geometry details of the model. It can handle unclean geometries and does not require a watertight representation of the geometry. Finally, the final mesh can be saved to the file that can be read by HyperMesh, NASTRAN, PATRAN and ANSYS. Both two-dimensional and three-dimensional cell shapes can be generated in T-Grid. 2D cell shapes are 2D triangle, 2D prism or quadrilateral. 3D cell shapes are tetrahedron, hexahedron, pyramid or prism. Being the highly automated tool, T-Grid possesses the following capabilities. It has tools for checking, improving and repairing boundary mesh. T-Grid uses Delaunay triangulation for generating triangle and tetrahedral cells. Delaunay triangulation is discussed in further slides. Uses advancing layer method for prism cell generation. To continue, T-Grid has a robust surface wrapper tool. It provides user with the size functions. Also, it can be used for manipulating face oblique cell zones. And T-Grid can create hybrid meshes as well as non-conformal meshes. Below are the pictorial representation of the capabilities of T-Grid software discussed till now. Having discussed enough on the T-Grid's meshing capabilities, let's move on to the concept of Delaunay triangulation. The triangulation is the division of a surface or plane polygon into a set of triangles provided that each triangle side is shared by two adjacent triangles. The two possible triangulations that split the quadrangle into two triangles satisfies the Delaunay condition. Let P be a set of points in the plane. 1. 3 points PI, PJ, PK, Sigma P a vertices of the same face of the Delaunay graph of P if and only if the circle through PI, PJ, PK contains no point of P in its interior. 2. 2 points PI, PJ, Sigma P form an edge of the Delaunay graph of P if and only if there is a closed disk C that contains PI and PJ on its boundary and does not contain any other point of P. Now let's have a look at how Delaunay triangulation works so that no other vertex is contained within the circumcircle or circumsphere of any triangle or tetrahedron.